We wanted to have a fun way to celebrate the end of the festival, to celebrate everybody's success, and to recognize a few spectacular shows. We have been hosting an award ceremony at the end of the festival since 2010. We decided early on to have the awards be community voted so that the staff wouldn't be taking part in the judgment process because the staff always really wants to remain really impartial. We don't have any favorite children at the festival. We love everyone equally. We want everybody to succeed. Over the years, we've also added sponsored awards. Like-minded organizations will sponsor awards, and it's really nice to have those specific awards to also complement the community-voted awards. In 2010, we hosted the awards ceremony right in the middle of Fringe Central. It was a tiny theater. We had handmade award statuettes. As the festival has grown, we've gone from hosting awards in theaters to hosting them in very hot warehouse spaces to loading docks of post offices. Now we're at the beautiful Ricardo Montalban Theater, and it is just such a reflection of how this festival has grown. We have something that's a very professional red carpet event at the end of the festival that people dress up for. So we hope that we can make the awards night and the closing night party a really special experience for everybody. We like to have entertainment so that people can look back on the festival and remember everything that they did and everything that they're proud of because everybody really accomplishes something great during June. If you manage to make it through June and get to that award ceremony, I think that you do deserve an award. <laughs> We're really excited for the 10th awards ceremony at the end of the 2019 Hollywood Fringe Festival, and we hope we see you there.